Yes, children. Are you all ready for the class? Yes. Are you all ready? Yes, children. Are you all ready for the class? Let us begin. Okay. Yes, we have learnt about the author who came home for the marriage and how he was feeling when he wanted to go to this work. Now, on my way home from the bus stop, my trunk had been carried by a porter. On my way home. On my way home. Here, what, is, what does it mean? On my way home. Means when he was coming from his workplace. From the bus stop. On my way home from the bus stop. Means when he was coming from his workplace. He got down at some bus stop. And from there he have to walk and go to his home. His village is very far away, remote area. So from the bus stop, from that highway, you have to go inside the village on foot. You have to walk and go. So what he says here, on my way home from the bus stop, my trunk had been carried by a porter. That means here, on my way home. Means when he was going to his home from the bus stop. When, before the holidays, before his marriage, he was coming home, isn't it, children? At that time, at that time, from his workplace, when he was coming to his village. My trunk had been carried by a porter. His trunk had been carried by a porter. He did not carry that pot, uh, he did not carry the trunk. Who had carried his trunk? Uh, the porter. Let us see the meaning of a porter. Porter. Porter, a person employed to carry luggage. We will see a porter in the railway stations and the bus stations. The person who will carry the luggage. When we are having a heavy luggage, we couldn't carry. So we will uh, employ one, uh, hire one person to carry our luggage. We can see mostly on the railway stations and in the bus stops. He is known as a porter. I think you have understood children, isn't it? Yes. Then, at that time when he was going home, his uh, trunk had been carried by a porter. So don't get confused here, children. On my way home, means when he was going to his home from the bus stop, means first before his marriage, when he was going to his village, from his workplace he was coming to home, that time his trunk had been carried by a porter. Means one person had been carrying the luggage. He did not carry. Okay, keep it in the mind, children. Yes. The problem was now was now now here it is this is then before isn't it now here it is at present present after getting marriage you have to go to his office isn't it he was thinking at that time understood the difference between then and now yes the problem now was we couldn't find anyone who could help me carry the trunk to the bus stop at present, he have to carry the luggage to the bus stop, from his home to the bus stop. That time, he couldn't find anyone. No one is there for him. No one is there to help him to carry the trunk to the bus stop. You might be thinking, that is a trunk. He himself can carry, but he cannot carry. Why he couldn't carry? Why he is not able to carry? We will see it later. Okay, children. So here, he, no one was there for him to carry the trunk to the bus stop. At that time, means which time? At the time of the year. Means when he wanted to go, when he wanted to leave his village, when he wanted to go his workplace, that time, at that, at that time of the year, at that time, we would have easily found someone to help him. Which time? At another, at another time. At another time of the year. At another time of the year means not at present, before this or after this, not this time, but another time. It's not now, before or after, we would have easily found someone to help him. Maybe that time it is a season for the village people to go into their fields. Maybe they are going into their fields. Maybe they are, maybe they are, uh, uh, crops are ready for the harvest. Maybe no one is there in the village to help this uh, 
person. Maybe they have gone on their works. So only here the author is saying, at another time of the year, we would have easily found someone to help me. But now, most of the villages were busy in the fields. So here, another time, the people would be very, he would have found easily the people. But uh, now it is very difficult for him to find because most of the villagers were busy in the fields. Many, most of the people of the village were in, busy in their fields. Maybe they have gone for their, uh, well, maybe they have gone into the fields. Maybe their uh, fields are ready for the harvest. But nobody had time to spare for me. Spare here it is spend the time for him. Understanding? Nobody had time to spare for me. Yes, nobody had a time to spare with him, to share with him. In fact, carrying the trunk, in fact, what is the fact here? Carrying the trunk should not have been such a worry. So here we have, we have thought, no, what is there? The person can carry the trunk and go, isn't it? So here he says, in fact, carrying the trunk should not have been such a worry. Carrying the trunk will not be a worry for us, isn't it? Our own luggage we will be carrying and going, isn't it? But here the author says, Carrying the trunk should not have been such a worry for me, except that my education had made me shun physical labor. Shun. Shun here it is avoid. Shun meaning here it is avoid. Shun. To avoid something or somebody. Have you all got it children? To avoid something or somebody. So here. Yeah. Nobody had time for me. Nobody had time to spare for me. In fact, carrying the trunk should not have been such a worry for me, except that my education had made me shun physical labor. What had avoided him to carry the luggage is education. Hence, here in the author, uh, when we have read about the author, we have read it that he is an IS officer, isn't he? Is a civil servant. Is a uh, is having a very uh, high high position, isn't it? He is on a high, he is in a high position. So here he is saying that this had made me worry. Which one made me made him worry? Made him worry carrying the trunk. For him, it be, it had been a worry. Why? Because its education, his education had made him to avoid this physical labor. Physical labor carrying the luggage it is a physical labor isn't it carrying and going it is a physical labor so here he says it was very uh, my education had stopped me not to carry the luggage does our education says not to carry the luggage never we have learned like that isn't it but here the author he feels like that understood after all i was a government officer so he says he is a government officer and the idea of people seeing me carry my own luggage was not at all amusing. So he's thinking, saying that I'm a government officer and if people see me carry my own luggage and if I move from this village, what the people will be thinking about me? They will laugh at me, amuse. Amuse here it is, laugh, make fun of me if I carry the luggage. Does anybody make a fun of the people if they are carrying the luggage? But here the author feels that because he is uh, holding a high position in the government office so he feels that if i carry the luggage if any people see me they will laugh at me they will make fun of me he, he thinks in that otherwise for a young man like me means with this we can come to know that man is a young man isn't it only with this sentence we can come to know that he is an young man no already we have learned that he came for his marriage. With that also we can come to know that he is a young man. Otherwise, for a young man like me, it should not have been an issue to carry a 20 kilo chest on my back. Chest here it is box. That is trunk box. Understand it? It would have not been an issue. It would have not been a problem for me. Young children, young people, young man can carry 20 kilos easily, isn't it? So here he is also a very young man. Even he also can carry 20 kg uh, luggage he can carry. But he is a government officer. For that sake, he is thinking that how could I carry the luggage? What the people would think if, can, if he carries the 
that is have you all got it children yes finally my father came up with a solution whose father whose father my father my father mean here it is the author's father came up with a solution solution here it is solution which he can which whatever the problem was arising for him isn't it he got one solution for that he got one idea for that who got the father father said don't worry i myself will see you off at the dirang dirang is a place which place is bus stop from his village he have to go to the bus stop isn't it for to his village there is no way no proper way so that the motors are not going to come any buses or vehicles are not going to come to his village isn't it so he have to walk from his village to this dirang dirang is a place where the bus comes bus stop understanding that is a highway there he have to go so what did his father say don't worry i myself will see you i myself who is this myself here who is this myself i myself the author's father was saying the author's father was saying i myself will see you off at dirang i will come to the bus stand to see you off then to send you off i am going to come to the bus stop to this dirang i am going to come i i myself will see you off at the dirang i will come to the bus stand he said i protested protested meaning here it is are you protested meaning here it is yes protested here it is argued he does not want it he had tried to convince us here it is not the meaning is not there but uh, the meaning of uh, the, pro the protest here it is he had uh, said to his father he argued argued means he said he had he tried to convince his father how could i allow my old father to carry my trunk the father is old isn't it when the child when the when the son is young then the father will be old isn't it how i could uh, allow my father to carry my trunk he said to himself how could i how could i allow my father i am being a young man when i am walking how my father is going to carry he is an old person how could he carry how can how can how it is going to be possible what people would think he is saying that he says that if he carries his own luggage the people will laugh at him and again here he says what people will think if uh, my father is going to carry the luggage then who have to carry isn't it who have to carry the luggage if he carries the luggage the people will laugh at him if his father carries if he fa if his father carry also the people will laugh at him because the son walking with a empty hands the father carrying a luggage there also the people will be laughing he was thinking in that what would they say what is this the young man walking the old father is carrying the trunk he thought in that but i failed to dissuade him dissuade dissuade here it is to convince somebody not to do something to convince somebody not to do something so how could i convince my how uh, how could i convince my father he failed he tried he tried his, he tried to say it father father i am going to carry he said not he did not say i am going to carry can't we find any person in the village who can carry the luggage he has he said but uh, his father said no 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 need to worry i am going to carry the luggage but he he, he could he was not able to convince his uh, father he failed in that understood it was decided that father would carry the luggage at last the father decided that nowadays we are not going to get any person to carry the luggage because everyone are uh, busy in their fields so i am there i am ready to carry your luggage so they decided it was decided that father would carry the chest chest here it is box already i said you all know trunk box a large crowd gathered at our place the day i was to leave it is a village moreover he is educated person and uh, moreover he is a government officer he is a is officer so the people the village people and uh, 
six months leave he was there at home and uh, moreover he had got married and uh, people uh, came to his house the a large crowd means many of the villagers maybe his relatives friends those all people had gathered at our place at our place here it is at his home the day i was to leave which day he was leaving they came there to say bye to him to bade him understood people had come to wish me luck luck here it is to bade him to say bye to him because so many days he was there in the village and he got married for that sake uh, the people came there to say bye to him it was 10:20 when i left for dera he started from his home when i left for dera means he started from his home at what time 10:20 in the morning not in the evening 10:20 in the morning he had uh, his breakfast and uh, everything and he had uh, said uh, bye to his uh, family and his mother and all who were there there and for the villagers and he started for dira started walking he have to walk and he have to walk to dira from his home to dira my father had already left because there was a luggage na but that's it what happened the father had already left because there was a luggage he have to carry the luggage and he have to go when there is a heavy luggage a heavy weight on our uh, when we are carrying a heavy weight we couldn't walk fast for that say what happened the father had already started as i had to do a bit of catching up catching up here it is because his father had already left he had started walking he have to go and reach his father isn't it he have to reach his father so here as i had to do a bit of catching up means what he have to do he have to walk little fast isn't it because his father had already gone left to the house so if if he wanted to catch his father what he have to do he have to walk fast so he did i walked fast 3 kilometers down the road how many kilometers he had walked to catch his father 3 kilometers on the road he had walked i caught up with my father at last he had met his father caught up here it is he went and caught his father and said that i came up father means he reached to his father he reached his father where his father was there he reached there father said you are late means the way he walked and came here the author says i walked fast but whatever he had walked it was not so much fast understanding it was late so his father said you are late would you like to rest for some time when the father was asking the father had seen his son he was a little bit uh, uh, in a he was little bit in a tense that he is going and moreover he was walking and he was not he was looking little bit tired so the father asked would you like to rest for some time he asked do you want to rest have you understood yes and next having walked fast having walked fast the author was walking fast he is thinking that he is walking fast i was tired because he have to catch his father 3 kilometers away he was so what did the author do he had walked very fast and at last he had caught his father moreover had to cross two hills on the way up to the spot which spot uh, dirang he had to go to dirang spot here it is dirang so how many two hills he have to cross two hills he have to cross on his way 3 kilometers he had walk still he have to walk and go means imagine how far is village is from this uh, highway so two more hills are there hilly area on the hilly area can we walk fast we cannot because ups and downs are going to be once we have to walk up once we have to walk down so on his way up to the spot how many how much uh, how many uh, what he have to cross to he say have to cross i quickly sat down on a rock can you all see in the picture my father laughed at my flight flight uh, flight here it is uh, the meaning of a flight here it is sad sad situation sad situation a different and a sad situation okay so here 
I had to cross two hills on the way up to this spot. To walk to the Dera, you have to cross two hills. I quickly sat down in rock. He felt very tired because he had walked very fast. He felt tired. He had saw. He had sat on a rock. My father laughed at my plight. Plight here it is a sad situation. Why there is a sad situation for this person? He's leaving his home, his family members, and he's going very far to his workplace. And moreover, he was uh, six months at home. So going on that day, leaving that place, he was feeling a little sad. The father had recognized that. And uh, the father had seen this uh, sad situation. And uh, when this uh, boy had sat, when this man had sat on the rock, you can see here the father and the son sitting, taking a little bit of rest. They wanted to rest for some time. So this little distance had tired you. Who said? The father had said. For father, it is a very lesser distance. For him, three kilometers, very long distance. I think you had got it. What is that? The young man is very sensitive. But here the man, the father, is very strong than the young man. Why? Why it might be? Why it might be? We'll come later. Why? Why this? Uh, why there is a difference between the son and the father? So this little distance had tired you. Rest for a while, but we have to be in time for the bus. Bus. What did the father say? He had seen the situation of this uh, boy, a man, and he laughed. The father laughed, and he said, "This little distance had tired you." Okay, you can test. Uh, you can take a rest for it some time, and he said, "But uh, we have to be in time at the bus stand. Be careful." Yeah, said to his son. I will not teach your children. Yes, 